Hello and welcome to BIM TV Live. I'm Erin Gartshore. And I'm Matthew Graham. Coming up on tonight's show, we'll be getting all the news from around the college. We'll be talking to Jade Burnett from Fife College's Student Association about a very special upcoming event. We'll have live performances from We Cry Wolf and we'll be talking to Fife filmmaker Robbie Davidson about his feature length film Dick Dynamite 1944 and lots lots more. But first, here's the news from around the college. Adam Smith Food Festival is coming soon. Organisers are inviting staff, students and the public to come along to Kirkcaldy campus on Saturday 10th of June from 10am to 4pm for a fun night out with all the family. Featuring demonstrations by celebrity chef Gary McLean, winner of MasterChef The Professionals, as well as cooking demonstrations by local industry professionals and young talent. In addition to music, there will also be workshops available to suit both children and adults such as face painting, cupcake decorating and cocktail making, 18 plus, as well as tastings and stalls, given the best chance to buy some great little produce. You can book your workshops by searching for Adam Smith Food Festival at eventbrite.co.uk. HSC Performing Arts students will be performing their show Education, Education, Education at the Barnes Theatre in St Andrews soon and hope to invite school pupils along to a free performance on Tuesday 30th of May. This is a brilliant opportunity to bring your classes to the theatre and watch theatre students at work with no cost barrier. Education, education, education is a love letter to the schools in the 1990s and the big questions. Dot and why? The responsibility lies in there. If you would like to reserve tickets for your class, please email Vicky Wilson at 5.ac.uk. Local school pupils were given a unique opportunity to take part in some of the world's biggest STEM competitions thanks to an event at Fife College. The college's Kirkcaldy campus played host to regional heat of global like first league competition with several schools taking part. Teams from Kelty Primary School, Inverkeithing High School, Collinsborough STEM Club and Fets College Edinburgh were challenged to build a programme autonomous robot linked to the theme of superpowered. With prizes on offer for robot performance, teamwork and innovation, the competition encouraged the development of key skills for future careers in STEM including coding, design and research. The first LEGO League Challenge is part of Fife College's school STEM workshop offering which includes events as, such as crystal growing, coding clubs and forensic science experiences. Hosted by the college's experienced lecturers and held in first class facilities, the workshops give young people hands-on opportunities within labs and classrooms to get them excited about STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics courses and careers. Jim Metcalf officially took up his new position as principal of Fife College on Monday, following the announcement of his appointment last December. The former chief executive at College Development Network, CDN, succeeds Dr Hugh Hall, who stepped down as Fife College principal after six years in the job. The new principal joins Fife College at an exciting time, with a new groundbreaking net zero campus being built in Dunfermline and the college reporting the best positive destination for those full. Students progressing to employment or further study of any college in Scotland. Jim has said his focus will be raising the college's profile in terms of education provision, uh, terms of skill training, community benefit, and economic growth across the region as a new principal with a long-standing affinity with and knowledge of Fife and communities. He is ready to hit the ground running and build on the great work currently undertaken by the college throughout the region. That's all for the headlines. In a few minutes, we'll be going over to the Boom Radio Studios to speak to Jade Burnett from the Fife College Student Association. But first, we're now going over uh, we're now going over to Jeanette with a special report on the recent coronation. The country, indeed the world, celebrates the coronation of King Charles III. What's happening in Scotland? We visited a small community on the banks of the River Tay in Fife. Newborough, with a population of just under 3,000, putting effort into celebrating the coronation. Newborough is a small town in the Kingdom of Fife. It's about 750 years old. Today is a bustling community and we are here today to see how the community has prepared for the coronation and how it celebrates this very, very special occasion. But what's a happiness and peace. I embrace the royal family here. I've never noticed it so much where I've lived before. Um, which is nice to see, especially in school. He's done so much for the youth. He's helped a million young people. He told me you're preparing to make um, coronation quiche. I am, yes. I think um, the king has produced a recipe of his own. So I will be downloading the recipe. I hope it's all organic and lots of cheese. That's Jeanette Sandler, our intrepid reporter over in Newbury in Fife. And that's it from us. Uh, just leaves me to say have a great evening and good night. Thanks for that, Jeanette. 
now over to Boom Radio Studios to find out about an up and coming special event. Boom Studios, interviewed mixed on location in five minutes. That's fly. I literally got so scared of that. Thinking about your future? At Fife College, we help thousands of students every year to achieve their goals. Whether it's qualifications to find your first job or planning a career move to your next position, Fife College has the course for you. Applications are now open for hundreds of full-time and part-time courses, so you get the skills, training and qualifications you need for the future you want. Choose your future. Choose college. Choose Fife. Hi there, I'm Mandy and I'm one of the lecturers at Five College and today we have our SVQ Level 2 group in their second year and they're carrying out cuts and colours in a really vibrant, fun environment. Did you know the new Fife College Prospectus is out now? You can choose from over 400 courses across 40 subject areas. It doesn't matter if you're a school leaver or looking to come back to study. Fife College has the perfect course for you. You can pick up a copy in your local supermarket or pop into one of the college campuses to get your copy.
Got some technical difficulties, so it's back over to Boom. Oh, a little about Clash Reps. Of course. So Clash Reps is probably one of the most important things that we do within the Students' Association. So at the beginning of the year, I don't know if you'll remember, um, we kind of go out and do different talks in with all the classes, explain who we are and what we do, and then we look for at least two representatives from each class, and their job is to attend sort of meetings once a month, they hear about all of the stuff that they are doing, and take that back to their class to make sure that nobody misses out. And then on the other end of that, they act as a representative for their class, so if that class is having any issues with something, whether it be a subject, a lecturer, the food in the cafeteria, something good that they want to sort of feedback, so a lecturer's done something really great, etc., then they would bring that to us and we deal with it either. So yeah, they, we want the good, the bad and the ugly, essentially. And it's a kind of two-way street. Cause it's, Do you get much requests about the canteen food? Yeah, um, yep. <laughs> we get lots of feedback from lots of different areas um, across the college. And it's something that we work with. Um, so one of our presidents sits on a kind of working group with um, Aramark from the food, uh, from the canteens and the lecturers that run the student um, cafes when they're doing like the professional cookery and professional bakery and some other things to try and work out what the kind of best solutions are for the kind of type of food that you're getting and the times that the food's being prepared, etc. So yeah, it's something we've been working on for the past couple of years with the students' feedback and with the student president and the other sort of representatives, if you like. So so like, um, how, how would they go about contacting you? Like... So anybody who um, is the class reps will attend the sort of monthly meeting. Any student can contact us basically at any time. Now, doesn't mean you're always going to get a reply straight away. If you message me at midnight, I'm not going to pick it up till the next morning. But we all have, um, you can message us via Teams, you can email us. We all have a professional Facebook page. Um, there's the FCSA's Instagram page, so if you're only using socials, you can contact us via those. If you're only using email, you can contact us via them. You can pop into our offices. Um, each of us rotates campus, so we're never on, or I say never, we're rarely on the same campus two days in a row, like the individual person, because um, we trade off every day. Um, so yeah, you can pop in, you can contact us basically any of those other ways so there's lots of ways to get in touch and you don't have to be a class rep to get in touch anybody can walk in and say hello or send us a message and we'll we'll do what we can to help that's great thank you very much jade you're very welcome anything else hey no i think we've Does covered quite a bit very quite rapid bit. fire cover most of it thank you very much i hope that's helpful for some of the students listening or watching hey thank you hey, and now back to the studio amazing
welcome back to the studio. In about 15 minutes, we'll be talking to filmmaker Robbie Davidson about his amazing feature film, Dick Dynamite 1944. And we'll be chatting to some of our very own college lecturers about the courses here in Creative Media at Fife College. But first, this band have been a mainstay of the Fife music scene for the last five years, playing numerous venues and festivals and releasing their singles, Nothing But Silence, The Best of Us and Take Me Home. They'll be playing live at PJ Moore's on the 17th of June alongside Burn The Maps and Got Got Need. But they're here with us tonight, so here they are, live from the sound production studio, We Cry Wolf. So hello, it's all for the show now, where you wanna go now, you're all alone again, you take me running down through the streets, you were lost already, you fall so hard, you fall so long, we can't get you out of here. Next song's called The Spark.
What an amazing set from We Cry Wolf who are available on all socials and normal streaming platforms. And with me today, I have Robbie Davidson, the director of Dick Dynamite 1944. Robbie, tell me about your film. Uh, so it's a local film, local to Fife. Uh, some of it was shot in Edinburgh. Um, and it's a World War II, um, extreme, violent, and funny movie that was made on an ultra low budget. Uh, but despite the low budget, it's got some cool cameos from the likes of Irvin Welsh, who's in Train Spotter, guys from Game of Thrones, Never Ending Story, and like guys from bands like Queens of the Stone Age and stuff. So uh, it's quite an awesome achievement, I think, for such a low budget affair to have like some high profile people in it. Um, um, yeah, and I'm super proud of it, and everybody involved has been a, a group effort of this made small anecdote. Yeah. Well on to see the trailer now. Dick Dynamite 1944, an action-packed extravaganza of guns, gore, and glory. It's got it all. Nazis, ninjas, zombies, girls, and gimps. Half a pound of dynamite with a quarter-inch fuse with a body count bigger than little big horse. Stern snars as Dick Dynamite. Also starring Holly Bassey as Colonel Stacker, Valerie Burse as Agent Jennings, Adam Harper as Wachowski, Marrakesh de Burdett as Brooklyn, Graham Scott as General Skirmitz, Sean Davidson as Dash Dalton, AF4 as Napalm Jeff, Craig Costello as Lefty Right as Tam the Bam, Brian Jameson as Lucas from Tukas. You'll explode when you see Dick Dynamite. Back in the studio with Robbie Davidson. Robbie, I just wanted to ask you, what was uh, your in uh, inspiration for making a film like this? Uh, for making this sort of film was, uh, basically, I was a big fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger growing up and, uh, and also a fan of films like The Dirty Dozen and Kelly's Heroes. Um, so I'd never saw, you'd never seen Schwarzenegger in that kind of scenario. Uh, battling the Nazis, so it was kind of emerging two loves, you know, this sort of 80s action squalor meets, um, you know, these, these sort of 60s and 70s World War II movies and kind of mashing them up together. Um, the, you know, like, why does Schwarzenegger never make those movies, you know? Is it because of his Austrian background or a bit cagey? But, uh, so that's where I stepped in. Oh, no, well, obviously it's a very, um, 80s action flicks are a very important time in film and cinema, so it's, it's great to see a a step forward, but also a step taking appreciation for the past works. Um, one thing I noticed when I was watching the trailer was how great the look for the costume was. I wanted to know what it was like coming across and deciding what you wanted it to look like and how you worked with costume and design to create that. Well, that's a whole other element that was, it was quite tricky, especially colors with stuff. You know, we might tell people, oh, right, you're gonna be filmed from the knees up, so it doesn't matter about footwear, but if someone's wearing fluorescent Reeboks, guaranteed they'll be in shot somewhere. Uh, it, it happens in the film. Uh, we try to sort of take it out digitally, but it, it doesn't always happen. Uh, a lot of the costumes we got from the Outpost movies, um, they were selling their entire wardrobe department, and we ended up buying it uh, and using a lot of that. But yeah, it's, it's a whole different kettle of fish. It's not just like shooting a drama where like, oh, you can turn up in whatever clothes you've got to take into consider everything from being period collect, you know, correct. There's, there's a lot of times people have got like smart watches and yeah. things like that in shot and it's hopefully people aren't going to pick that out um, and, and ruin the magic. <laughs> well, obviously, I um, heard the, the film was actually crowdfunded. It was funded through, I assume, a website of some sort? The, the initial one was um, uh, Kickstarter. Yeah, it was mm. Kickstarter, the initial one. And um, we, we put the budget as 10 grand, um, but with Kickstarter, it was like so stressful. Mm. I, I don't think I'll ever do it again. Because um, if you don't make your, your target goal with Kickstarter, you get nothing. Oh. So, so yeah. And like th there's a sort of a AI bot type thing that can predict it as well and how it's going. And I, I typed it into that and that told me um, I wouldn't make my target at all. And, and I sort of I almost gave up. But I was like, I'm going to reach that target. It says I'm going to do it by tomorrow, never mind two weeks. So it does take a lot of work. You've got to push and punt, punt the Kickstarter. But they, they also take a big big cut and percentage, so we didn't quite get the amount. So then we did an Indiegogo as a finishing fund, and that was like way, way less stressful. 
because um, whatever your, your target is, well, whatever you make, uh, you get with Indiegogo rather than Kickstarter. So if anyone else is watching and thinking about doing it, I recommend Indiegogo instead. I was uh, quite curious to hear about how obviously it's a, a lower budget film and it's crowdfunded. What was the actual like, highs and lows and the experience of making a lower budget film locally here as well? Um, lows, there was, there was a lot. There was a, like filming over such a prolonged period of time, you know, it's not like we've got a big budget and we can film, you know, constantly for, for six weeks or whatever, you know, it was just like everybody banding together and, and filming on weekends and stuff when they could. So that was really hard to wrangle all the people uh, to get together on the, the, the same days and everything. Um, uh, highs, I think filming in, in such a community like this, um, people were just into it. They were just like, oh, would you be up for helping out doing this? Um, and, and people would jump at the chance. Whereas I think if it was being filmed in say Edinburgh or Glasgow, I think the sort of city attitude might sort of dismiss it a little and it wouldn't have been as successful. Well, before we wrap up and go back to AdWords, I just want to ask you, what's, what's next for you in film? Uh, currently, um, pushing dynamite in some festivals abroad, uh, some ones I can't announce yet. Um, and what ones can I announce? Yeah, none of them, sorry. <laughs> um, I'll just make one up. We're going to uh, Zimbabwe. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like lots of fun. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking okay. to me today, man. All right, thanks. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so Cheers. much. Uh, back to AdWords, I think, yeah. Thinking about your future? At Five College, we help thousands of students every year to achieve their goals. Whether it's qualifications to find your first job or planning a career move to your next position, Five College has the course for you. Applications are now open for hundreds of full-time and part-time courses, so you get the skills, training and qualifications you need for the future you want. Choose your future. Choose college. Choose Fife. Hi there, I'm Mandy and I'm one of the lecturers at Five College and today we have an SBQ Level 2 group in their second year and they're carrying out cuts and colours in a really vibrant, fun environment. Hello and welcome back. You're listening to Boom Radio, Fife's number one student radio station. I'm your host Stuart here, joined with my guest David. How are you, David? I am absolutely perfect, yes. Great. Uh, it's nice to have you in the studio. Uh, it's nice to be chatting with you. Um, so, I'm just going to kick right off with it. I understand you're a screen student. Yeah, yeah. I've, um, I'm on the HNC course. Awesome. At the moment. I'm close to the end of the course now. Bra. So, you know, deadlines are due. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's stressful moment. pressure, but, you know... Absolutely. Love it, love I think it. I think every student in a current course can feel that mm -hmm. um, 100%. So my first sort of question was like, what attracted you to the screen course and like what's been the best parts of it for you? Just in mind with new students who could be starting, doing beginning the course that you are about to complete. Well, primarily, I want to be a camera operator. Nice. You know, cool. um, filming gigs and, you know, shows. <clears throat> and this is where you get the experience to do that, you know totally, I mean? totally. um, and it's not just just camera operating as well that uh, that attracted me. Okay. Uh, you know, it's it's a whole lot. So there's like just the whole experience, no particular part of it, but just in general, that was what sort of brought just you. The general knowledge, exactly. Um, so totally. I, you know, I've I've been a camera operator um, filming shows and things before, but I wanted to come here to expand the knowledge that I have. Totally. Um, there's only so much you can do watching YouTube tutorials and things. You know, that is true. That education, is true. 
especially at my age, you know, I'm 34 as well. I'm mm -hmm. not like a school leaver, like many of my peers. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, coming to, to college was essential to progress right. into the industry. Fair enough. So I think it's safe to say that, like, if you hadn't been on this course, then you wouldn't have learned quite like as, as much as you have. And it would seem from like, what you've told me so far that in this course, you're able to make like quite a lot of contacts and just like sort of earn your stripes. Um, it sounds like from what you're saying, watching videos is one thing, but physically having the camera there, physically, you know, having to record stuff, that's just like a different it's like a different ball game. Yeah, exactly. There's almost so much you can teach yourself, uh, yes. I believe. And again, it's also getting to to use some, you know, some really high tech kit mm -hmm. that you just, you know, for starting out on your own, you don't get that opportunity from That's home. You know? Very true. Very uh, true. Unless you, you know, you have some some money to start with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which you know, most people don't. So to get the opportunity to come into the campus and work with like such state of the art tech is like a dream come true for a lot of people. And the studios, the green screen, you know, the whole lot. That, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, like, whether it's, like, screen, whether it's radio, there's so much stuff here that is, like, available to you, and it just makes the whole experience a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would definitely say that. I think you'd agree. Um, so, sort of moving on from that, um, I also understand that as well as being behind the camera, you like to be in front of it, whether it's on TV or in front of a crowd. I understand that you're a part-time professional wrestler. Yeah, yeah. So I've been um, training for uh, about two years now. Awesome. Uh, well, two years in September. Cool. Under um, a fantastic man. Um, he goes by the ring name of The Jackal. Oh, nice. His name is Jay. Um, he is not only a fantastic teacher, okay. he's taught me so much more than just you know how to be a professional wrestler totally the man is a you know is a friend you know yes yeah, absolutely there for you no matter what that's what you want right uh so yeah so yeah professional wrestler yeah i've uh, made my debut officially at the start of this year awesome uh for scottish wrestling entertainment based cool. in dundee awesome. that's a company that's been around for 20 years a long time in, in the scene um, in the scottish scene yeah exactly yeah and they've um you know they're, they're quite big as well they've um oh yeah Last year they played host to Scotty Too Hotty. Ah, cool, nice. I, w I filmed that. That's how I actually, you know, transitioned to Dundee College. Uh, sorry, Dundee College, Fife College as well. Oh, nice. Uh, from filming in Dundee, um, so made the contacts the matches, again, all that sort of thing. Totally. So I hope to take the skills that I learn here, and you know. Them just transfer it Absolutely. yeah well i mean it, it sounds like those the the screen and the wrestling very much go hand in hand may not seem like it but obviously you can offer your expertise from a wrestling perspective and also from like a sort of backstage and um, like tech perspective as well and mm -hmm. um, that is that is awesome that you're able to like sort of do both of those things um so in terms of like um at college and in wrestling what does the future hold for you what are your goals and aspirations for that my goals and aspirations primarily from through the college mm -hmm. i hope to you know once i've passed the hnd next year you know fingers crossed yeah um, totally i'll move into the industry cool film shows uh gigs and you know start making money from what i love to do mm -hmm. you know yeah totally in regards to professional wrestling I love it. I've loved it since I was 15. Yeah, you know? it's a passion project. Absolutely. Exactly, exactly. And that yeah. is absolutely a passion project. Um, and being in front of a, a live crowd with people cheering for you, mm -hmm. and cheering for you. you yeah, know? like like There's you're the no guy. You know what like I mean? It. No other feeling. I think, I, you know, I, I would totally imagine, I've never been in front of a crowd myself or anything like that. Well, but it's I terrifying, would, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I would imagine that it's, that it's like very daunting because... Um, to think about it, oh, it's so cool, I would just go out and do it. But to actually be able to do it and to like hold it together m must be quite difficult. Um, so hats off to you for being able to do that. There's no bigger nerves than when you're standing behind that curtain <laughs> waiting for your music there. Yeah. No no bigger fear. I can imagine. <laughs> but like, you see, like when you're out there, does it all melt away or do you still feel it and like you have to, you know, you have to kind of try and it's, it's bring really out the strange. character? Yeah, when you're in the ring and you're performing, a lot of it just sort of melts away. Yeah, I, I've, um, I know a, a few performers as well, not just wrestlers. That you know, when they're in front of the crowd, they don't see individual people. Sometimes it's nope. just like a wall of noise. Yeah, it's just like. And if there's a wall of noise, you know you're doing something right. Totally. <laughs> you know, especially in professional wrestling, if you've got a sea of people cheering for you mm -hmm. or booing, you know, and booing you out the building, you're doing something right. A reaction's a reaction. If there's yeah. silence, then you need to work on it. Mm. Anyway. Yeah. 
totally, totally. And do you find that like that's been a difficult part of it, you know, like eliciting a reaction, or do you find it's been quite easy so far? So far, um, it's eliciting reactions. It's not really the the most difficult part for me. Um, right. Most difficult part is remembering what comes next. Yeah, <laughs> you know? I would imagine. Yeah, I would imagine. Um, my memory is terrible. You know? yeah. <laughs> so it's that. That's my biggest fear is going out there in front of people and just forgetting just everything I've ever known. You know? Totally. So, but well, I mean, like you know, like with time, with experience, with expertise, even if something like that did happen, um, you, you often see like the pros are able to like think on the fly you know like think quickly exactly. I imagine you be able to do something like that as well exactly um, right yeah you have to you know feel the crowd as well yes totally so if something's not working you adjust it on the fly you know? yes so yeah no that's absolutely very very tricky i would imagine yeah. that would be quite difficult but then of course i just like we we're saying it comes with time and um, it's definitely something that you work on just uh, as you do it more and more it's a great so. teacher as well though um, oh yeah absolutely you know a, um, a bunch of people that want to see you succeed cool nice and to have it knowing that there's people in the back that mm -hmm. have your back yeah is like nothing else you know oh yeah i think i would say the same for like any club whether it was like sports non-sports mm -hmm. if it's like a, a good atmosphere if you've got a coach like what you're saying uh, the coach uh, uh, jay jackal um he, not just your coach but your friend and mm -hmm. um, i'd imagine that that makes a great atmosphere and uh makes that a better experience for you Absolutely. Um, so Absolutely. no, that's great stuff. You look forward to going out there. You know, yeah, totally. Performing. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing like it. Just being able to do that um, must be one of the like the best parts of it. You know, just being able to put it all together. Um, you know, essentially we're a bunch of grown men. You know, wrestling in their underwear in front of people. <laughs> it's, there's nothing else like it. Um, someone said to me, and in, in fact, the jackal said to me as well that. Uh, Professional wrestling is like it's like theater, but it's combat theater as well. It's another layer. Yeah. You've got ongoing storylines. You've got you know things that can go years. Yes, absolutely. Um, so it's it's so much. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you know, I think to bring it back to what you were saying, like having to remember things and all that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah. Obviously, like whether if it's film or TV or whatever, um, or even like theater. There's cuts in between. Mm -hmm. There is right. Okay, <laughs> that take didn't work out. Cut. We'll try it again. Whereas in there, if you muck something up, the crowd remembers it. Yeah, you know, and they'll and, let you know it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And you know, there's there's no room for like. Okay, it's just we'll, we'll stop this now, guys. I'll just head to the back and we'll re read my lines again. It's the middle of a match, you're just like, hold up. We'll yep. do that again. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, yep, yeah, didn't, didn't quite get it. Yeah. Um, so I imagine that, that that's like a whole other layer that makes it unique to any other kind of performance art. Yeah, it, it's a it's a beautiful part of it as well though because it's mm -hmm. it's always transforming. You know? Yes, yeah. You don't have the luxury of of stopping and thinking about it. You've just got to, you know, do it on the fly. Mm -hmm. um, you could, you know, practice and practice and practice a match until you're blue in the face, but you never know what's going to happen when you're out there. Yeah, so, no, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, and so like. Obviously, uh, we'll bring it back to like the sort of the college side of things. Mm -hmm. So, what can you expect to be doing in the HND year of screen, or have you not been basically told that far? Um, they're keeping their cards a bit close to their chest at the moment, but okay. um, yeah, I've, I've, there's going to be some work experience. Mm -hmm. I'm told. So, going out there into the industry, which is exactly where I want to end up being. So, having that experience through college in a more controlled environment, I think, you know, nice, a really great idea. Mm -hmm. um, there's. A particular unit that I've been told about that I'm quite looking forward to, which is like critical analysis. All right, film. okay. Uh, so, you know, analysing exactly why things are happening on the screen. Nice. You know, um, I think that'd be really quite interesting as well. So I'm looking forward to that too. Awesome. I mean, for myself, I'm coming to the, towards the end of uh, my HND in radio, and I did enjoy HNC. Absolutely, it was a great year. I did find that when HND came, though, my skill level and like my knowledge just went so much further up. Um, so mm -hmm. it's, it's great news uh, great well we're going to head back to the studio uh, thank you very much for speaking and uh, it was nice meeting you David you too thank, thank you, you very much. cheers guys thinking about your future at Five College we help thousands of students every year to achieve their goals whether it's qualifications to find your first job or planning a career move to your next position Five College has the course for you Applications are now open for hundreds of full-time and part-time courses so you get the skills, training and qualifications you need for the future you want. Choose your future. Choose college. Choose Fife.
Thank you so much for that, David. I'm now here with We Cry Wolf in the studio. Thank you so much. That was such a good set. Cheers. Um, do you play like all your own material? Is that like your own stuff that you always do? Do you have any covers? So, when I first started, it was just a material one. And then we started introducing a few covers because we were playing more festivals. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, people like to hear covers. And that's the reason. But there's not a lot, maybe. The vast majority that we play is all our own. Team, that's basically everything's our own stuff. But as you've seen, we, we've done coaches. Audio Slave, yeah. favourite hours. So, ah, it's the only one we play, yeah? It's the only one we do ah. now. I think we had maybe two or three covers in, two got dropped. We made Come an original band, aye. Aye, aye. Oh, good. So, like, is there a favourite gig of yours that you've done? Or, like, um, mm. you know, what do you think of? I mean, just for, just for where it is, King Tots is the special to play, yeah, it's a great venue. King Tots is always great, aye. Yeah, that was good. Um, we, so, we played the... Uh, Vibration Festival. That was good. That Calendar was good Park day. and Folker, that was a great day. Mm -hmm. uh, great day. Um, I would say probably day two so far. Cool, yeah. great. Mm. Um, sp like speaking of favourite things, is there a favourite song that you like to play live that you know you can just, it's just makes you feel good, I guess? Well, I would say personally for me, one thing, which is... This song that we're doing next. We're going to yeah, yeah, play that for the end of the show. Aye, so. We're playing that next. Oh, yeah, um, I probably now, I would probably put that up there for mm -hmm. me. Aye. Tell me how it feels to play good though. Yeah, that's oh, good. Aye, Got a good aye. groove to it. Definitely. It's quite an easy song to play as well, so you just kind of settle into it. Oh, that's mm. great. Um, so is there any new songs coming out? Can we hear like anything new from you guys soon? Or? We are actually. Um, the song we're about to play next is the next one we're going to release. Oh, okay. um, so we've been recording um, with a guy which is pretty exciting. Um, different for us, with no, aye, aye, some, aye. somebody completely different, different aye. location, um, we're just finishing off a couple of bits so mm. it'll, can we bit more information about when it'll be released and things like that will come out, um, but yeah, the song that we're doing next is the one that comes out. Great, amazing. Mm. Um, is there any like uh, inspirations behind the band, like any, or like musical inspirations and stuff that you guys kind of take from? Yeah, that's, that's tough, I mean for five guys we've got uh, very different mm -hmm. or different tastes. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're pretty similar. You're into what, like Spice Girls. <laughs> 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 you're quite similar. Basically, yeah. Aye, we've all got a difference. Um, <laughs> I, I ranges, eh? I mean, quite most of it's rock based. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I mean, Lee's Dream Theater. We're a bit more traditional rock. Um, I'm, I, we uh, like Oasis, No Gallagher, can all that yeah. kind of stuff. I'm like, like singer songwriters as well. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, so Damien Rice, Bon Iver, all that sort oh, of stuff. So yes. slightly different than than they two. So yeah. kind of. That's good. Yeah. It helps though. It does it help does. when we've, we're writing and coming up with ideas and having that different dynamic. So yeah. uh, it also helps define your own sound there. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Is there any like songwriters or maybe like other artists and stuff that you'd love to like maybe work with one day and maybe do something with? Um, for songwriting that's quite tough. I mean as a band obviously we're, I mean we split the songwriting basically between us eh? so it's, it's, as it is I mean it's quite hard getting five people to agree on anything so our yeah. maybe one of that mix would be quite tough. <laughs> yeah. but, um, <laughs> Try to finish a song sometimes. Oh. It's difficult. So bringing oh. one more person in might be a bit oh. challenging. So, I, I, there's far too many, if I'm being honest. Okay, when, it, when, okay. when it comes to actually, if you were offered to work with them, mm -hmm. like it's, it's too many. It depends on what kind of style you are looking at. But I, there's many artists would love to share a stage with. Ah, yeah, that's an easier one to answer. Can I, I mean, for me, Biffy Cairo, things like that, that would be a, a dream, eh? Great choice. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as a band, we we'll, we'll very much do our own things. So yeah. It's kind of hard to see uh, inviting other songwriters coming into it. Apparently, I would like to share a stage with Spice Girls. It would fit right in. That's a bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> So quite like independent and kind of like happy just doing what you guys are doing, which is quite like, yeah, yeah. Aye, that's aye. like kind of like refreshing to hear because you always hear about like bands wanting to like do like mad things like other people and it's great that you guys are like on track for your own thing and want to do your own thing. That sounds aye, like... Just take it as it comes really yeah. and you go with yeah. the flow. I think, the, I think yeah. the good thing about us now is that we're all on a stage where we're doing this because we actually really enjoy it. There's yeah. no uh, aye, aye. oh we need to get to this stage, we need to do this, we need to do that. Mm -hmm. So it's quite organic and it's quite... 
easy going and nice and it's got an easy flow to it and yeah. there's no really too much we need this and we need that and pressure mm-hmm. it's, so no it's, it, it works quite well for all of us considering our families and um, work and all relationships outside the band it's it kind of it's, it's really helpful that way great amazing um maybe like one final question where can we like guys see you guys next like is there anything big coming up yeah, we've got a gig coming up on Saturday the 17th of June. Yep. June. June at PJ Molly's in Dunfermline. Oh, PJ Molly's. Um, so, so we're headlining that with a few other bands who are leaving as well. Nice, so great. So they're planning to take leaving through to Dunfermline, which hopefully won't be a riot. <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's the next gig. Um, yeah. Um, but we do have a couple of other singles that are available to download and things like that now, so you can get that on any platforms that you, that you get your downloads from and mm-hmm. your streaming system. So, yeah, you'll find us. Just type in We Cry Wolf and you'll find us. It'll be awesome if people could. Yeah, great. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much, guys. It's been so lovely to talk to you. Thanks for having us. Uh, we're going to go to some ads now. Thank you so much. Thinking about your future? At Five College, we help thousands of students every year to achieve their goals. Whether it's qualifications to find your first job or planning a career move to your next position. Fife College has the course for you. Applications are now open for hundreds of full-time and part-time courses, so you get the skills, training and qualifications you need for the future you want. Choose your future. Choose college. Choose Fife. Hello, we're back live here on Boom Radio. I'm Tristan, if you don't know me, I'm one of the hosts here on Boom Radio, and we've got another interview for you here. We have Neil. Hello, Neil. Hi there, how are you doing? I'm doing very good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, it's been an interesting pilot evening so far, but uh, yeah, very proud of all the students. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, so Boom TV, obviously this is our pilot evening, uh, run by students for students. Uh, We've got uh, really great intentions of how we move move forward with this. We've had a massive investment in new technologies which allow us to do this, so the connection of sound studios, radio studios, TV studios, um, we're in a great position to uh, pull off something like this on a regular basis and I think that's something that can be student-led and run by the students, so yeah, it's been very interesting. Thanks, so that's that's a little bit about what we're actually doing here tonight, we're live on YouTube right now. Yeah. Um, Can you tell us a little bit about the courses that are here in the media industries in Five College? Sure, so uh, we're the creative media department, uh, we're on a range of courses, obviously the uh, stuff that is quite apparent tonight is things like TV and screen courses, broadcast media, um, I'm from the sound production department, so as you saw our beautiful studios had a fantastic band in tonight who I think were sounding excellent, uh, run by students again. Um, the the media department here, as I say, has had a massive investment. Um, we've all come back from COVID. Um, nobody wants to be working from home. Uh, the buzz here compared to the last two years has been phenomenal. Um, I think that um, we've really tried to kind of up our game in terms of what we offer to make sure that our students are industry ready. So we're actually revising a lot of the courses we do. Um, I'm the course leader for a brand new advanced certificate in sound production, which is starting next year. Uh, making sure that what we do is current and relevant and um, recruitment is currently open for next academic year. Uh, that can lead into an HND in sound production. Uh, we've got great links with St Andrews University where we're doing live streams similar to this um, for their beautiful new state-of-the-art um, performance space. Um, but we also are part of a bigger creative media department where we can all work together to achieve things like this with the same sort of common purpose and goal. So yeah, it's great. Yeah. So these courses run th- from like HNC, HNC, HND. And actually, all the way lower than that, we actually run a level four uh, introduction to creative industries course. So even if you are someone that's come from school, perhaps without the entry requirements, you think you would need to come onto one of our courses, you can start at a lower level 
that then progresses into the higher level courses with the intention of perhaps going on to either university or working in industry. So, yeah. Nice. So um, you talked about recruitment out for this academic year. Why is this academic year right now a brilliant time to start studying at Fife College? Well, as I say, we've had a massive investment in the department in terms of the resources that we offer our students to have hands-on experience with experiential learning every single day. Um, as I say, we couldn't have pulled this off two years ago. Um, this is something that I think uh, we sh everybody should be doing. Content is king these days, and I think if students can be in control of the content we're creating, it gives them uh, ownership of what they're doing, pride in their work. Um, and I think, again, we're making our students industry ready to go straight into industry from when they complete their studies. Nice. Thank you very much, then. I have a very important person You've... here sitting next to me, actually, and one of the most important people in the college. Yes. This is Lorna from Funding, who can uh, talk a little bit about how you can fund the courses that you'd want to come on to. Okay, Lorna, I'll pass you over. So we've got Lorna coming over to talk to us about student funding. Hello, Hiya. Lona. Hiya, how are you? I'm very good, thanks. How are you? Fine, fine, thank you. So can you just tell us a bit about what student funding are doing right about now and how students can get their funding for these courses? Yeah, of course. So we within the college support students on FE level courses. So that's the entry level courses right up to um, SCQF level six. And it's an online application forum um, which will be sent to the email address that we hold um, hopefully at the end of June and we encourage students to get this application form in as soon as possible um, check your junk mail keep an eye on social media um, to see when we when we do go live and for the, the courses that are for HNC and above it's SAS that would fund you for that and they're actually open just now uh, we are available throughout the whole of the summer holidays you can call us on 0344 248 0115 or email us at studentfunding at fife.ac.uk if you've got any questions we can answer them we can help you with the, the course application we can make an appointment and you can come in and, and get that application sorted as soon as possible so is that is there is that all you need to know for student funding i could do a whole other interview on student funding yeah. at a later date if anybody wanted to but well, that we'll see is, if we can <laughs> schedule that, that in at some point um but yeah very um limited information just now because we are waiting on more information coming in from the scottish government on um rates etc for next year um but just keep an eye on the website and social media for for these updates Nice. Well, that's useful information. Anyone that's looking for their funding, try and get that in soon, Definitely. as Lorna said. Well, thank you very much for speaking to us, Lorna. Thank you very much for your time. Um, thank you. We've got a bit more coming up shortly, live here on Boom TV. Breaking news, Tina Turner died? <laughs> oh my god. A uh, pop star dies at age, what, 68? 68? 63. 63. Thanks. Blink of an eye. Icon. Icon. May she rest in peace. May she rest in peace. Mm. Well, that's all about all we've got time for tonight. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks again to Jade, Robbie, David, Neil and We Cry Wolf for joining us. If you think the show would be a great regular feature on Boom TV, or if you would like to appear on the show in future, tell us about it at tvstudios at 5ac.uk. Or if you'd like to come study within Creative Media here at Five College, you can apply on our website, www.fife.ac.uk. That's all from us tonight, but back again to play the show out, We Cry Wolf.